Spider-Man, Spider-Man does uh, Hi, I'm the Kaijin Okami, and this is my quick review of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a CGI-ish, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's CGI made to look like stop motion, set in one of the Spider-Man universes that has both Peter Parker and Miles Morales, basically think of the ultimate universe from the comics, but in movie form. Miles Morales is like this little teenage 14-year-old kid who ends up getting spider powers because of something that happens to Peter Parker. He ends up having to train and take on the mantle of being Spider-Man. While in the process of all these other versions of Spider-Man from different universes coming along, this film was a lot of fun. It was very engaging. It knew when to be serious. It knew when to be comedic. It had the perfect blend of comedy and drama stuck together with such fluidity. It was fun. It was engaging. It was hilarious. It was entertaining. The music was well done. The fight scenes were spectacular. It was an amazing film overall. It may not be the ultimate Spider-Man experience, but it was a very solid one and well worth the time. If you were kind of on that cusp of whether to see it or not, not, definitely check it out they make fun of so many things that is quite hilarious especially spider-man 3 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which makes you kind of wonder if this is actually set in the sam raimi universe who knows who cares it's just a lot of fun there were great one-liners spider-man noir is pretty hilarious especially when he gets this one rubik's cube the villains are well done it's just a great movie all around the voice acting is top notch the only negatives i really have towards this movie is that i don't like to design a kingpin and sometimes the animation looks a little bit choppy as if the frame rate has dropped think of a video game where everything's moving fast paced but then everything just starts moving in slow motion and it's kind of kind of jumpy like you're right here and then you suddenly are right here and then right here it's basically like that overall i give the film a 9 out of 10 and it may be the most superior animated movie of the year i liked it better than the incredibles 2 and ralph breaks the internet which is amazing because usually disney dominates the animated market this year not so much although when it comes to oscar time if one of those two wins the award over this no big deal, but I definitely think this one deserves it. Until next time, bye.